Now let's check out the controller inputs. These are tools we can use associated with the triggers, shoulder buttons, X square and circle buttons, as well as eight directional inputs for both analog sticks. These tools can be used to disable those inputs, make them constantly on, or even use them for something else entirely. Since they all do basically the same thing, let's spawn one and check out the properties. Let's go to Tools, Triggers and Events, and scroll over to Controller Buttons. And let's grab the Gas, or R2 button. Keep in mind, in the game, X and right trigger perform the same action, and Square and left trigger do as well, so there is only one tool for each pair. Let's open up the properties. The first option is Controller. This is where you set which controller the tool is listening to, or looking for inputs from. Next we have State. This refers to how the stick or button affects the bike. Default means it works as normal. Stuck means the button is always on, and Disabled means the button or stick will not work at all. The next option is turn the controller input into a trigger that sends an impulse. Use On Press to send an impulse when the button or stick is pressed. On Down will send an impulse every tick as long as the button or trigger is held down, and On Release will send an impulse when the button or trigger is released. You can choose all or just one of these options depending on what you want to do. Now let's check out the analog sticks. There are eight tools for each stick. Up, down, left, right, and the four diagonals. Let's grab the left up and open the properties. The reason I grabbed the left up is because with the up, down, left, and right, you get the added option of using the diagonals, here under Activate on Diagonal. So for example, pressing up and to the right will still activate the up action. The rest of these options are the same as the controller buttons. 